Fog Wrestling back with another Fed March 29th, 2022 edition of NXT. We are what? Wait, when is NXT starting? I think it's two days away. WrestleMania weekend. Oh, we love WrestleMania weekend. We used to, not anymore, because it's shite. But yep, we had kicked off this show with Imperium defeating LA Knight and MSK. Here, MSK, and I think a Machine Gun Kelly. No reference whatsoever, but Imperium steal a win on their way to NXT stand deliver. Um, the heels win, which does anyone care about? Not really. MSK, a bunch of jobbers. I don't mind LA Knight. People, many people dubbing him The Rock in TNA. Is he the DNA of TNA? Only time will tell, but that is what kicked off the show, if anyone remotely um, cares. And next up, we have two jobbers in a match. We have Ivy Neal defeating Tiffany Stratton. This was via submission. Um, so we had the Pitbull taking on the buff Barbie doll. What, what is this, man? Who comes up with these nicknames? They're absolutely um, shocking. But looks like you're going to be beat with a power bomb. But then Big Nile countered it. Locked in her modified dragon sleeper to force the, the buff Barbie doll into submission. Well, Stan delivers the 2nd of April. Whenever that is... How many days are in April? 31. So it's Saturday? Wait, no. Sandlover has to be Friday then. Because WrestleMania, damn it, is over two days. So who knows, but we're in to the next match we had. Look at the nick of this, man. Josh Briggs and Brooks Jensen defeating Legado Del Fatamaza. Sounds like two lawnmowers have defeated. Well, I mean, that's uh, the bottom line there. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's NXT. It has your odd comedy segments on it that are funny, but... I mean, it's still better than Raw. It can be better than SmackDown. It's better than anything AEW can do, but awful. Next up, we have Toxic Attraction. We've got Mandy Rose and two uh, council estate slags, as I put it in previous weeks. Look at that name. Um, but, yeah, we have the return of Raguel Gonzalez returning to save Dakota Kai. And this is all build up, essentially, for the pay-per-view, of course, these two teaming up. Um... So, yeah, we've got those two title matches at NXT Stand Deliver. I won't be tuning in for that. I mean, I doubt we won't have the review. Son of Scotland 90, we'll probably do that review. The Fat Man. Anyway, we had Fawn Wagner defeating Body Hayward. This guy, I mean, look at this. I mean, the only reason he's beating them is because of the big guy. You know? And this feud is just, um,. I'll say not, not, not this feud, I've got this match mixed up, but Von Wagner defeats him. But look at this, man, it's just matches in this NXT. And this is the go home show, like the biggest show of the year. You'd probably expect more, you know. We then had Joe Gacy defeating Draco Anthony. Of course, the big guy getting involved. That's This is the match I meant to say that. Um, Gacy manages to capitalise with his somersault clothesline. He earns the win. So, yeah, building a bit of momentum going into stand and deliver. Meanwhile, Nakota Leon's defeats. Saloni Jacobs, this Mongo went viral a month ago because she did a pinfall and basically showed her ass. If anyone um, cares about it, but there we go. And then Cameron Grimes, oh, listen, to, listen to these names, man. Defeated A Kid and Roderick Strong in a triple threat main event. And that is just your matches, you know. Of course, we had other stuff on the segment. On the segment, on the show, we like segments and shit with Braun Breaker, Sigler, all that good stuff. But I thought, you know, I thought this was weak. Raw was shit. No ways about it. Didn't expect Raw to be um, be better than uh, this pish. And I said they were both equally bad. I gave Raw a zero. I had to refute that. Summer Scotland ninety sitting nowhere. I mean, I'm having to refute this. Absolute garbage. But. Yeah, in terms of the rate this out of 10, the clips were brutal, and um, I don't know, I'd give it out of 10, would you give it out of 10, Amy? I'd give it a solid 6 out of 10. Jesus, you need shot then. Okay. I'm giving it a 0. Oh, really? Yeah, it was awful. I think you should agree with me on that. Yeah, I agree, actually. You didn't help me watch any of the clips, <laughs> you just went ahead and gained a 6, but alright, Amy. But anyway, I'll do it for Fog Football, let's get that. That averages out at 3. There you go, then. Because you gained it a 6 and I'm gaining it a 0. Yeah. Anyway, guys, it's a zero. She didn't watch it. I did. Maybe if you want to watch wrestling in the future, you can. Even though all the current Ooh, shit is awful. Okay. I'd like to show you an old pay-per-view and watch it. 
Yeah, definitely. Did you, did you like to do that one mm-hmm. there? She would. But until next time, peace. That's it for Four Wrestling. WrestleMania weekend coming up. The feds are coming thick and fast. <laughs>